cam vise. This is for a CNC 3018 Pro or basically any type of CNC router that is relatively light duty. Before we get started, if you could take a moment to like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Okay, let's get started right now. Here's a look at the assembly and solid works. So if I were to rotate this, you can see the T-nut on the bottom. It's a 4mm T-nut. And let's see if we can see this. The cam action at this point here is at its fullest, but as we rotate 90 degrees, if the cam action is here, it's at its smallest amount, fullest amount, and then again, smallest amount. And we always want to be rotating towards our fullest amount because this these serrations on the side actually push the workpiece down as it's being clamped. This is a photo of the cam being printed. You can see that it's hollow on the inside and you can also see the support material for the handle. Our next clamping device is a cam. I thought this is kind of cool. It works for odd shaped pieces, square pieces. It, a cam will hold almost anything, but unfortunately a cam is still a cam no matter what you do to it. So under heavy vibration, they come loose. So there's not a lot you can do about it. There is ways of turning around and making the inside uh, shorter than the outside and your final clamp will actually lock this in place. So there are some tricks you can do. If you take a look, there's a pattern on here and you see how the pattern's different from the right side to the left side. So the cam activates here to the center, here to the center. So when I'm going this way, if you take a look my slices are going down this way. So as I'm turning the cam and locking it into position this way, it's actually pushing my workpiece down. Same with on this side, when I'm locking my cam in this way, it actually physically pushes the workpiece down. So that's what's kind of cool about the cams. Obviously there's ones without that as well. So let's see how a cam works. It has the same uh, nut and bolt system as we've seen here. So let's say we wanted to hold a lid, the lid and we wanted to engrave on it. So what I would do, because I'm going to come when I turn this way, because I don't want to come this way and out in case I have something sticking in behind the machine. So I'm going to go this way and out this way because that'll be my tightening action. Same with this guy here. I'm going to go this way to this way and that'll be my tightening action. Now you're saying, well, Ray, what if I wanted a repeatable? This is not a repeatable setup. Well, let's say I wanted a repeatable setup. What I could do then, I could put uh, two here that are permanently tightened, one here and one here, and that will automatically push up against it. Or I could machine a V into one of these guys and that'll sit in the V and those guys will push up against. But right now, it's, non, it's a non-repeatable setup. I could also put stops up against. So if we take a look at this guy here, this guy here has a screw in the end here to put a stop on the end so you can make a repeatable setup. So just a quick little turn of the, uh, the screw here. Bring that screw down. Tighten this screw down. There we go. We're locked in place. That guy's not coming out for nothing. Um, I was surprised how well the cams actually worked. They work great. And if you try and pinch a round piece on two points, it doesn't work so well. Something else that I forgot to show you, it does sometimes help when you have a light on. That might look a little overwhelming on camera, but in person, I love having the extra light. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Ray's Fix. If you've not already done so, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great night.